You guys were asking for a joystick tutorial, how to add on-screen joystick into Bolt. So I went ahead and created a joystick assets that you can use in Bolt. And there is a download link in description. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that asset. So once you download it, it should be a Unity package. You can go ahead and drop it into your assets folder. There's not that much files here, so you can import all of them. And a new folder is going to be created in the assets folder, SP Joystick. We can go ahead inside here. One of the files is a prefab. You can go ahead and drop that into the canvas. Once you drop that into the canvas, you can see that our joystick appeared here. For this demonstration, I removed all the inputs for my tractor. So I can click play and try out the joystick. So you can see the joystick is operating pretty good. So under the joystick in the inspector, there are some variables. And one of the variables is maximum radius. And if you want to increase that radius, you can increase it. So if I set it to 100, you can see that the knob travels further now. So 150 is going to go in further. But I think I like 100. So I'll stop the game and I'll set it to 100 for my game. And before I connect the joystick to my player, if you're interested in seeing the logic how the joystick works, you can go to the knob and there's an embedded graph here. So you can click Edit Graph. I get a warning saying that I need to edit the prefab graph instead. So I'll click prefab that should go inside joysticks prefab knob and select that graph. And this is the logic that is running here. So you can take a look. I used a get mouse position input. That way I can control the joystick by a mouse or by a touch screen because Unity simulates mouse movements with a touch movement. But basically, this is the graph that converts your touch input to an output that we can use in a player. So let's go to our player. And inside the SP joystick folder, there are two super units. So there's the joystick super unit and a joystick smooth super unit. I'll demonstrate the difference between those two. So I'll go to full screen. So first, let's use the joystick. I want to select the joystick from the scene. Here's my game object joystick. And I get two outputs, horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to use the horizontal for changing the movement position and also rotating my tractor. Connect the fixed update to run the logic that I have here. Exit full screen and I can click play. So you can see with this setup, the movement of my joystick makes my tractor have sharp movements. So if you're looking for that, you can use that or if you can implement your own smoothening. The other option I have is the smooth joystick. So let's set that one up as well. So let's select the joystick from my scene, connect the flow in the middle of here and I can replace the horizontal inputs. So that one's completely disconnected. Inside here, I use a alert. And that's where the T is coming from. So if you want to change how smooth it works, you can increase the value or you can decrease it. The closer you get to one, the sharper the movements are. And the closer to zero, the smoother the movements are can be. So you can change that value to your liking. Let's go ahead and see the difference. So now you can see the tractor is turning much smoother. So if you like this asset and you want to support me, you can support me on itch or Patreon. That way I get at least something for the time that I put into this. If you want to modify the visual of it, there are two images that are used here. So one is used for the background and the other one is used for the knob. The sprites that I use now is one of Kenny's on-screen control assets and there are other variations of them. So you can check those out. I'll leave a link in description. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button. The next video is going to be on Hunger Bar. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.